four days to the great eclipse. Taking a quick look at Comet Watch three hours ago. This was posted by Tony. Let's take a look. Well, right off the bat, right here, right here. Just like I talked about yesterday. This was three hours ago. Taking a look at this image from yesterday where I, right there. But there's another, there's another feature here. If you look closely, this one comes from Michael Yeager. If you look closely, you can see like a spiral, like a DNA pattern right here spiraling around so it, as it spins apparently is leaving a spiral type image all the way up like a dna now it looks like it had another outburst two hours ago this is posted let's take a look okay yep you could tell here here it's from tony two hours ago this was uh two hours ago also okay I'm looking for spirals yeah you can see spiral right here right there and right there three hours ago from this gentleman here Sergio let's take a look okay I don't see okay okay this was posted three hours ago from Jason let's take a look well right there I see it right off the bat right there I'm looking for any other well you can see the now the the dust tail shooting in that direction right there right there and you could barely see spirals now this one was from Michael again 14 hours ago and you could see the look closely if you look closely the spiral it could be the same image you got this this right here now this one was taken from Jared 13 hours ago yep you can see the spirals right here right here right here right there as it spins around it's leaving a, a spiral image and there's that anomaly here's another in black and white you can see the spirals the DNA pattern and then this right here this one was taken from this person right here Valentin from the Czech Republic 13 hours ago again you can see the spiral right here and there's that this is, and that right there so apparently it must, have, it must have another outburst I'll check space weather in a little bit Let's continue looking Okay, this one comes from Felipe. Let's take a look. It's posted. This was posted on April 2nd. Now, this is from Space Weather. March 31st was posted. That's when it was in the Aries constellation right by the Alpha Star on Easter. Right here, you can see a distortion. here also right here remember these are different astronomers taking these images and you can see barely a, a spiral but you do see distortion right here and some probably a chunk right there remember the wave patterns how they get distorted when they like a boat sailing to the ocean that the ocean leaves the wave pattern splits okay this was a Posted on the second by Odd from Oslo, top notch. He says here possible outbursts. Let's take a look, closer look. Yep. Outburst appearance. So if this is another outburst, it's number 10. Number 10. This one was taken from Michael Yeager. It was posted on the second. It was posted right there. And just look at look at that magnificent I mean it's just gushing look at the jets it's leaving behind so many I can't even count magnificent now this one's what taken from Fritz from the Canary Islands on the 31st okay that's when it was on Easter Sunday let's take a look at this one closely Right there. 
Look at the the gases, the plasma. Ah, uh, look at this. Sometimes, uh, what's that term? Paranoia. When you think you see something, right here, and right here. Okay, look at the chunks. That's gushing. Okay, let's take a look to see the latest. Okay, today they have it at a 4.1. So just a couple more. Once it gets 4.0, 3.9, and we shouldn't have no program. I watch seeing it more visible away from the city lights because once the eclipse happened, you know the, the city lights are going to turn on. So if you're in the country, you'll have away from any lights. I mean, once the solar eclipse hits, lights will turn on and you have difficulty. I still wouldn't go outside. Okay, so we did look like we did have an outburst because it's right. Well, right here is showing. It's in the three category. If this latest report that just came out, they did have an outburst. If that's right, and who knows, they probably put one way down in the bottom here. Just to, so if it's in the three category, chances are just increased of observation. Let's check out NASA. Okay, we're on April 4th. They still haven't updated that since March 20th at 7,427 observations. How hard can it be? You go to work, you gather the numbers, you put it on the computer, and then you go go take a coffee break. So it's been over, going on two weeks. The most, the second most visible observed comet, still no close up images from the observatories or any spacecraft, which totally, the sec I mean, this is the second. The second place most observed comet after they adjusted the numbers on Haley put out 8,500. I put that information a couple of videos ago and we still haven't yet this thing updated. Come on, man. I, mean, I could go to work in five minutes. I could update that. So they, they don't want you to, to know. But people already know the people already see see what's happening here. Taking a quick look at the sky to see if they change anything. Uh, nope. Everything looks basically the same. Let's see what they have it at. Oh, they have, okay, they have it at a four. So one more notch, and we still got four more days from the eclipse. So who knows? It might be 3.8, 3.7, 3.5. Anything in the threes. Once it touched three in the country, you'll be good chance of seeing it with, with the telescope. But you got to be very careful with the sun because you could get blinded. Okay, looking at the 3D. Let's see if they changed anything. This is April 4th. Okay, Earth right right there looking towards the sun and here's comet 12p right there so that's what i have so far as far as the cube as you can see it fits perfect fits perfect 